In this lesson, you will learn how to maneuver the tool head to a different location, and even make the new location the starting point when cutting the next design. Let's start with the control panel. Anytime you see this button, it indicates that the tool head can be moved to a different position. This might be a general movement, or a movement that involves positioning the tool head to a specific spot, such as accurately moving it over a registration mark when making decals. When it is pressed, you'll see this menu, where there are these four arrows. The four arrows will move the tool straight in both directions, whereas the dashed lines between the arrows will move the tool in a diagonal direction. This button is the Start Here button that sets the new position for the new start point. Let's demonstrate how the arrow keys work. When the up arrow key is pressed, the media moves toward the back of the cutter. When we press the down arrow key, the media moves toward the front of the cutter. When we press the right arrow key, the tool head moves right. When the left arrow key is pressed, the tool head moves to the left. Keep in mind that holding an arrow key down starts moving the tool head slowly, and then after about two seconds, it increases the speed. When pressing one of the line buttons in between the arrows, it will move the tool head diagonally. It does this by moving the media and the tool head simultaneously. Once again, when the tool head is in a desired position, to start the next job at that point, press the Start Point button. When pressed, all jobs will cut from that point on. 